big until we sit together. Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are doing the finishing touches and we're adding a few more secret fish that you'll see later on in the video. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to get a kind of trimming put around this edge to cover all the line and all the silicon. We're going to be adding the lighting, which I forgot about doing in previous videos. We're going to make a sort of lid for that. I still don't know how we're going to do it because it is lifted and we'll have to make like a little high thing. And sorry for the chicken noise, it doesn't show up, does it? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to do lighting, add some new secret fish that you'll see tomorrow because they're coming tomorrow. I've ordered them by Cartco, so they'll be coming tomorrow. And all the fish are doing mega. I caught them feeding yesterday. Uh, I was upstairs from one of the upstairs windows and I saw them feeding off the surface. I'll play a short clip of that now. And if if you want to see that clip fully, there's a full two minutes of the carp feeding for the first time. Go check out Lost and Fishing Window, it'll be in the top corner right now. And I've, that's just my personal channel where I post a few different things. And there's a little clip of the carp, feed, all the koi feeding on there. And if you want to see more koi updates and pond updates, everything will be on Lost and Fishing Window with the pond updates. There'll be a lot more pond updates and it'll, and it'll be good anyway. So if you want to go check it out, go check it out. But in this video, we're going to be adding the new fish, adding the lighting, covering up the pump a bit. We've got some big rocks. It's getting to look a bit odd while there's big rocks there, but it looks more natural than the pump just sitting there like that. So we're going to add some big rocks. I'm going to show you the plants that I've added because I never actually filmed putting them in. I'll show you them what I've put in because I've put in quite a lot of nice plants. And we've also got a lily pad coming when we when we uh, when the fish come tomorrow. We've got a lily pad coming on that order. But tomorrow I think we've got about about ten tenish fish. But they're just fish to help the ponds, uh, just help the ponds ecosystem keep going and better for the ecosystem of the ponds. So yeah. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is cover that pump and then after that we'll do the lighting and we'll save the fish to the end but I'll quickly show you all the coin now and show you how they're doing and uh, just quickly we'll go through the skate here but I'll show you some plants and all the coin and show you how they're doing. So there are all the plants, I don't know what any of them are called but that one's cool. <laughs> We've got some more of them there, we have got a lily pad there a type of other plants. I don't know what any of these are called. We've got a kind of a grass thing there. And here we've got a massive lily pad that all the koi like hiding under. Uh, it's quite hard to show you. There you can see a few. There's a, a dark ghosty swimming off. There's Mr. Koi, I didn't know if there. There's the big platinum. And we've named, we picked two names for these fish. So, the big platinum. It's called Bullet. Someone said for the big uh, ghosty to call Bullet, but I like the Platinum name Bullet. So the big Platinum's named Bullet, and then the big ghosty is called Casper. So they're the two names for the big fish, and we are getting some more big koi very soon that we'll be able to name as well. So it's going to be probably double the size of them two big koi that we're going to get very soon. So make sure you stay round on the channel to find out them, and make sure you subscribe. But yeah, you can see another koi that we've got there with the red head, the white body. That's nice. And then still got the rest of the koi still hiding under there, but all the koi are doing good. And as you can see, the plants look amazing. When that's thick and bushy, all the koi will have somewhere to hide. When this is at the surface, they can hide under there. So you've got somewhere to hide in case any predators come. But yeah, they've been, feed they've been eating quite a lot of food and they've been feeding quite well to be fair. But yeah, them three bigger koi, stick together quite a lot. Hopefully we will get a pair between them three that will breed but yeah I found out thanks to someone in the comments that that big bully is an Ogun Koi and Ogun Koi is my favourite type of Koi because they've got the best personality and they grow the biggest so I'm really excited to see how big bully is going to grow. Casper's still looks mega though, proper nice fish and then I think Rob's thinking of a name for that one, but yeah, that one's Rob's, Rob's little fish that he's got. Uh, I'm sure he'll do a little video on it on Lost and Fishing with Rob, so go and check out that. Make sure to click the top icon right now. 
Rob will show you a video of him naming that koi when he finally comes and sees the pond for the first time when he's old. But yeah, the pond's looking mega. Look at them all down there. They love that lily pad. I think I'm going to put that other lily pad over there down here as well so they have somewhere else there. Cause I think the I think it's a bit too shallow for them uh, in the cold weather at the moment, so they like the plants down the bottom. But we want that to be the planted area really. And we have got one plant over there that they don't really need to go to, but it's just good oxygen. It they use the fish poo and help grow the plants, and then they change all the carbon dioxide, uh, CO2 in the water to pure oxygen. So that is good. So we're gonna get some rocks now. We're gonna clean off the rocks and hide that pump because it does not look good. So we'll do that now. Right, so we've got quite a few big rocks here. And they look like gold to yeah. There's a broken one somewhere. And it's like crystal inside, you can't see. And it's, you can't really see if it's dirty at the moment, but I'll show you that after because it looks quite cool. But yeah, I'm just going to get a, going to get a hose now and just rinse off all them rocks. and all the rocks are up here so what I'm going to do is put them around the pump it's probably going to spook the fish quite a bit so you can see the fish dashing around it's cause of that Right, so uh, I just got a bit wet, so I just leaned in a bit too much. But now my guilty appeal, top is drenched. Oh, I'm gonna go dry off quick, but that's what it looks like so far. Quite hidden, it does look a bit weird and massive rock mound, but it's a bit of structure and it looks kind of cool, so we'll go with that for now. Oh, and it is the next day, and the fish have arrived. So let's open the box and show you the surprise fish that we get that we ordered. So these are from Carp Co, which are an online website. You order them and they come basically the next day. So they are really good. Carp Co, they do tropical fish as well. So if you'd like any of them, uh, if you like anything from here, get them. And they're all in one big bag, that's weird. Yeah, right, so I'll explain to you what we've got. I think we've got two gudgeon, two, no, I can't really remember. Well, we've got a big chub, two mirror carp, which is really nice, and then I think we've got two orbs and maybe two gudgeon. But well, I'll float them on the water and I'll show you properly when I'm releasing them because I can't really remember what we got so I'll show you some video footage of them now and we've also got lily pad that I forgot to show you that I'll show you me putting in uh, in a minute just before I do the fish so there is two budging, two mirror car Two got blue orbs and one big chub. Make sure yams are left if you grab and pick your yams, but then okay, grab one. And it is a little mirror. I should see that's what the mirror looks like. I was hoping for a linear, but. That is a proper nice mirror. And 
we'll let it go. Alright, so put me back, hand back and walk you there. This is what we get this time. And it is the chub. I think it said it was six to seven inches this chub. Look quite nice to be fair. But yeah, it's quite a nice bit. So we'll lose it now. Right, so I've got a little gudgeon now. Caught some gudgeon in the past, but never have one this small. <laughs> quite a small gudgeon, but we'll release it. Alright, so I've got the other mirror. There's the other mirror car. Very nice car. It's got one scale on the side. Spin it around this way. And there it goes. So there is a blue orb. Oh, wait, it's gone. And the last one, a little gudgeon. There's a little gudgeon. Very nice fish. You love hiding down there, that's why I put that lily pad there, so because that's not that big for them. But there's the gudgeon, there's the blue wolf. I won't find. Oh, there's a little car. Mirror car. There you go, there's a mirror car. That's the one with the single scale. But yeah, the pond's doing very well, very well. But yeah, the pond's doing mega. Uh, looks really good. Still a bit cold, the water is, so they're not coming up feeding properly yet, and they're still getting used to us. But I'm sure by the end of summer, late summer, they'll be coming up and feeding out our hands. Fingers crossed anyway. Uh, but we're getting two more fish for this pond and then I think we're done. Because we don't want to overstock it. If we, if when the koi are bigger and we think we need a bit more stock then we will. But we're getting two more koi that are going to be probably double the size of the biggest ones that we've got now. So we're going to get two big koi. And they're going to be two more fish that we need name on the channel. So if you've got any ideas. Uh, drop them down below, but you don't really know till you've seen them. But yeah, they'll be a uh, very sunny day. It's quite nice. Only 11 degrees though, but nice weather. But yeah, I'm chuffed with the fish that we got. We are going to get two more koi, like I said. Keeping this bag just in case we ever need it, a little bag. And all I need to do now for the pond is sink the lighting because the lighting floats, so I get little rocks. So I'm going to tie the light into these rocks and then sink them. But yeah, when you get the light in still, because you can't wait to get a, a mint uh, bit of footage of the, with the, la the purple, well, whatever colour, I think we're going with blue. The blue light under the water with the fish. It's going to look mega. So that's going to look good. But yeah, if you'd like to see more frequent updates on this, like I said earlier on in the video, go check out Lost in Fishing with Noah. But there's a little carp down here. See little car? That's the mirror. There's a little ogan. A ghosty. And uh can't see anything else. But they love, they love this lily pad. The rest are down there. The three big ones always stick together. Bullet, Casper, and Rob's naming that fish on his channel, so stay tuned for that. But yeah. The pond is doing mint. So what I'm going to be doing next, I'm going to get the lighting in and that is going to look mint. And when I've done the lighting, I'll show you a clip of it at night time when it's pitch black and how good it looks. There's the chicken back there digging a nice little hole in the mud. 
<laughs> but yeah, prop up the ponds. I'm not going to do this on video because I'm still thinking of how I'm going to do it because I need to put a piece of wood on top of it, but it like lifts up loads. So I'll, that'll probably just appear in one of the videos of the update to the ponds. But yeah, probably most of our videos now we'll just do a quick update of the pond before it's so like. Say we go caught fishing. Before I leave here to go caught fishing in the morning, I'll come out, feed the koi, and show you. But yeah, uh, I'm going to get the lighting in, and I'll see you in a minute. in this video we've covered the pump but i think we're going to get a few more pebbles uh, rocks for that we've added new fish uh, i've showed you the plants we've added we've added, added another lily pad hopefully that will start sprouting up soon but yeah uh, the only thing i can do now is i'll show you a clip now of at night time when these lights are on so i'll show you wow look at that that looks sick can't see any of the fish. I forgot to clean the, cla the glass, by the way. I will get it done. Look at that. I will get the glass clean, though. That will just be clean next time. That's my bad. That looks mega. Is that a fish? Yeah, that's Casper. There's Casper. And there's another fish. Can't really see, though. Oh. Oh, the oh, there's loads of fish. There's fish fish back there two fish they're both the orfs yeah the water's warmed up a bit today because it's been a nice day to be fair it's quite warm like right, it's not too bad oh there's a little ghosty he's not tears show you some clips now of just all the new fish and all the fish will just get some good footage on out the big chub is grouping up with the big boys so this chub's game around with the big ones staying with the big ones and uh, the good gene is kind of just doing the own thing eating off the bottom like they do and then uh, I haven't seen any of the mirror carp recently. Have a look if we can see some. Oh, there's one. And you can see it. The glare is terrible. I'll get some polarized glasses soon so then I can put them over the lens. So we're able to see in the water bit. It's over there. Yeah, you can see it with the big. We're bullied. But yeah, all the fish are doing well, settling in nice. Can't wait to get the two big koi though that we're going to get, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Soon we're getting a, a GoPro, so we'll be able to get mint underwater footage of all the koi. We'll be able to get 24 hour time lapses of the koi just doing the thing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, the chickens come say hi. <laughs> and yeah, so thanks. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you got all the way to the end, make sure you like and subscribe. And comment down below letting us know that you got towards, all the way towards the end. And if you haven't already, check out mine and Rob's personal channels, Lost and Fishing with Noah and Lost and Fishing with Rob. They'll both be in the top corner of the screen now. I think it's that corner. I'll probably go it wrong though, I always get it wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you, the I'll you've seen the clips, so I'll see you next week.